Here we have a galvanometer circuit. Galvanometer, I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway, we're going to use a galvanometer as a null indicator. Now this null experiment thing kind of pops up pretty frequently, especially in potential meter circuits. Let's see. When a galvanometer, the gal galvanometer reads zero, which statement is correct? How do you know if you read zero or not? Well, if you look at the needle, all the needle on the galvanometer shows is if there is current or no current. So currently, if it's pointing in this direction, as you can see, that means the current is flowing from bottom to top. That means you have a higher potential here and a lower potential here. For example, maybe you have four volts here and two volts there. Therefore, current will flow through the galvanometer and go over to the other side. That is if you have a reading. Now, what if you don't have a reading? That's what we call a null reading. So let me rub off this thing and I can draw the own needle. So when it points kind of at this neutral position, this is what we call it has a null reading. So it's just there. Okay, so what means what it means is that there's no current, number one. So I'm going to write a note here for no current flowing through the meter. There may be current flowing through up here and current flowing through down there. I don't know, but there's nothing flowing through the bridge. It's what we call a bridge. And number two, we can talk about the potential, how the potential is between these two points. So you could say that the potential difference across Q and Y is zero. Notice this is potential difference. It's different from potential. Potential, potential difference is different. For example, if I have this side on Q is 8 volts. This side on Y is 8 volts. What's the potential difference? 8 minus 8 is 0. So that's why I say PD. From here to here, there is no difference. 0 volts. Potential difference. Also known as delta V. La, if you want to think of it that way. Potential difference is a change in V. So 8 volts to 8 volts. Okay. So that's what it means. Now method. Now lah. This is what we call now. Now, now, now. So now that you have this understanding in your brain, now let's go through the statements. A. The potential difference between Q and Y is infinite. Are you... <laughs> you know what this is saying? PD between X and... Uh, sorry, Q and Y is infinite. Infinite means very, 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 very large. So maybe you have a, what do you call that, galvanometer here. Then on the top wire, maybe this is one zero 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 volts, and here is one volt. I mean, it's not infinite, lah, but it's very big. So the current flowing through here will be super, super, super big. So that's, that's, that's not going to give you your zero reading. We're talking about now. So this is nonsense. Nope. B. The potential difference between Q and Y is zero. Yep. We talked about this. So here, no current flow means null. Null means zero volt potential difference between the two points. There can be any value. Can be 8 volts. Could be 18 volts. Could be 218 volts. I don't care. Next. I think this is okay. Maybe this is the answer. But to be sure, let's also double check the rest. C. The resistance between Q and Y is infinite. Why would there be resistance between Q and Y? Galvanometers are designed to have very low resistance. It's very similar to an ammeter. Ammeter galvanometer should have low resistance. So low R. Voltmeter is the one that has a very high resistance. So I don't know why would you have an infinite resistance. Yeah, it will block current and you will have zero current reading. But that's not how, what a galvanometer is and that's not what it does. So why? Why? Our G friend here does not have infinite resistance. Although, that will be a mathematically correct. Z no current, ma. No current means infinite resistance. Ah, yeah. But wrong equipment, wrong setup, wrong circuit. D. The resistance between Q and Y is zero. Now, this is also another weird idea. If the resistance Q and Y is zero, yes, there is current flow. But that doesn't really serve the purpose of the null indicator method. I mean, you still won't have current if the potential is balanced between here and here. So, although it's mathematically correct, but it's not 
not the best answer for this galvanometer now method. So B is the best choice here. Okay, so use this idea whenever you do any potential meter kind of circuit, any kind of circuit with a G there or now, you should already think of, oh, what does now mean? PD, zero volts. Potential is not the same as potential difference. Although they all use a unit of volts. Okay, so see you in the next video. That's all for this one.